see, and I know this, you can learn more from the things that go wrong in life than you can from the things that go right. I know it because I got asked to do a gig on a cruise ship, but I like to do a cruise on a whatever. A cruise, or be it when it be glamour, be lovely ladies sunbathing on the upper deck, nothing like that, nothing. Because everybody was so old. I mean, not just slightly middle-aged, these were the oldest people I'd ever seen alive. <laughs> people who looked like they were made of nothing but paper and a heartbeat. <laughs> The second day of the cruise, our ship docked in Naples and a hearse pulled up at the dockside, and I really wasn't sure whether they were picking somebody up or dropping them off. <laughs> I don't mind admitting, I panicked. See, I, I lost my composure. I thought, I'm gonna talk, talk about something they'd be interested in. The only thing I could think of was the Queen Mother's 100th birthday. A marvellous day when the Queen Mother, the mother of our sovereign, turned 100, made marvellous for me because I read a story in the newspaper the day before that said, tomorrow, on the Queen Mother's 100th birthday, we hope to persuade Her Majesty to walk to the church with the aid of a stick. And I thought, that's cruel, but effective. <laughs> <laughs> come on, you old bitch, tell my yards, come on. Six billion pounds you cost this country last year, let's start getting our minds well, come on. Did not like our 400 old age pension when the ship's born. Hey, tomorrow the same. And I mean, shouting anything out would be a bit futile. There was old ladies trying to knit a protest sign really quick. <laughs> I can't see for that death blow. The worst thing about this whole scenario was I was then stuck on the boat with them for another five days afterwards. But that's when I found out one of the really good things about Alzheimer's disease. By the next day. <laughs> Two of them thought I was their grandson, I got a cake and a new cardigan. 